The stage is set for the Legends of Frontera patch 3.8.0, including the new expansion Worldwalker, new Pulsefire skins, and the Path of Champions 2.0. This patch brings with it three new keywords. Our first keyword is Origin, which indicates the deck building rules for Runeterran champions. Here's a quick infographic on how Origins work, using Jin as an example. Runeterran champions work as one of your deck's regions. They let you add specific cards to your deck regardless of the regions. With Jin, you can add any follower with a skill. Some Origins also have effects that start at the beginning of the game. In Jin's case, if you behold him, you play a Lotus Trap for every three slow spells, fast spells, or skills you've played. Our second keyword is Spawn, which summons and grows tentacles. And our final keyword is Boon. Boons are like traps in your deck, that activate effects when drawn. The first boon introduced to the game is Chimes, granting cards in hand plus one plus one for each activated chime. Patch 3.8 introduces four new champions, starting with Annie. With her level up animation, First the smoke, then the fire, then the jibbers! Her level two, and her skill, Molten Shield, which changes from level 1 to her level 2. Annie brings Tibbers along, with his skill, Pyroplastic Arrival. And her champion spell is Annie's Disintegrate. Annie's followers are Mana Soul Student, and his skill, Magic Embers, Spell Slinger, and his skill, Stiffened Sinews, and the Prefect. With Annie, we're also getting a new landmark, Ravenbloom Conservatory, which summons Tibulk. And finally, we have the regular version of her spell, Disintegrate. Bard is our second champion. His level up animation... His level 2... His origin card, the Wandering Caretaker, our first boon, Chime, and his champion spell, Bard's Traveler's Call. Bard brings with him three new followers, Beard, the Bell Ringer, Esmus, Breath of the World, and Maduli, the Gatekeeper. Bard also introduces a new landmark, Mystic Vortex, and two new spells, Proximity Puff Cap and Cosmic Binding. Our third champion is Alawi. This is her level up animation, This is it! Plan or drown! Her level 2. And her champion spell, Ilawi's Tentacle Smash. Ilawi brings with her a bunch of new followers. Watchful Idol, Tentacle, Buru Leader, The Sea's Voice, Nagakaburos, which creates the spell Nagakaburos Tantrum and Nagakaburos Tentacle and Buru Lookout. As for spells, Ilawi brings three new spells, Tentacle Smash, Answered Prayer, and Eye of Nagakaburos. And our fourth and final champion is Jin. This is his level up animation. I hear it now, the thunderous applause. We must all play our part. His level two, his origin card, the Virtuoso, and his skills, Curtain Call, Deadly Flourish, and Lotus Trap. His champion spell is Jin's Dancing Grenade, which creates second bounce. With Jin, new followers come in, the Stagehand, and her skill, Stunning Performance, the Maker, and her skill, Peerless Artistry, Captive Greyback, and its skill, Obey Order, Lord Broadmain, and his skill, Kashuri Gauntlet, and Legion Deserter. Jin also brings a new spell, Gruesome Theater. This expansion also brings a lot of followers, landmarks, and spells that are not related to the new champions added. 
These are Mega Tusk, Warf Rat, Protective Brood Father, Hunting Boar, Revna the Lore Keeper, Harbinger of Thralls, The Winding Light, Bakai Witherclaw, Obedient Drakehound, and Paparo the Great. As for landmarks, we have Dragon Roost, Chamber of Renewal, Haunted Tomb, Petricide Pillar, and the Grey Apothecary. As for spells, we have Inspiring Light, Blood in the Water, Dragon Ambush, King Ku's Call, Storm of Blades, Consult the Heavens, Wings of the Cryo Phoenix, Sputtering Song Spinner, Celestial Trifecta, Strategic Execution, Discreet Invitation, Sense of Time, Harrowing Return, and Undergrowth. This expansion also brings different versions of the Telstones to each region, except for the Freljord. We have Vandal Telstones, Bilgewater Telstones, Demacian Telstones, Ionian Telstones, Targonian Telstones, Noxian Telstones, Piltovan Telstones, Shuriman Telstones, and Shadow Isles Telstones. Patch 3.8 also includes two nerfs. The patch notes mention that the next major balance update is scheduled for patch 3.10 in June and will address the World Walker meta. Current changes are aimed towards the pirate aggro decks, nerfing Crackshot Corsair to a 1 1 unit and Imperial Demolitionist to a 2 2 unit. This patch also introduces the first major update to the Path of Champions, commonly referred to as the Path of Champions 2.0. This update includes Noxus and Demacia as the two new regions, a new permanent progression system that includes legend levels to power up your champion roster, champion star levels that grant unique abilities and chapters on each champion's adventure, and the revamped and expanded champion levels. We're also getting unique champion adventures and world adventures, similar to what we currently have. With the release of the Path of Champions 2.0, you will get rewards for playing the first version of the Path of Champions. If you completed any adventure, you will receive the Scroll of Frontera card back and the Champion's Vault that will include champion fragments to unlock either Jean or Annie. If you defeated Gangplank with any champion, you will receive the Plaque of Frontera card back and a Silver Vault containing a handful of random champion fragments. If you defeated Victor with any champion, you will receive the Gem of Frontera card back and a Champion's Vault that will include champion fragments to unlock Bard or Elawi. And finally, if you defeated Victor with at least three champions, you will receive all of the previously mentioned rewards, the Adventuring Emote, and a Gold Vault containing a large number of random champion fragments. You can make progress to receive these rewards until patch 3.8 goes live. There aren't any future progression resets planned after this update. The Path of Champions 2.0 will launch with a limited roster. This means that some champions will not be available until they get added to the mode at a later date. The new roster includes Jinx, Jin, Bard, Alawi, Annie, Garen, Lux, Darius, Yasuo, Lee Sin, Misfortune, and Vi. Meaning the following champions from the Path of Champions 1.0 will become unavailable. Echo, Caitlyn, Jace, Ari, Kennen, Timo, Nami, Pike, Tam Kench, Twisted Fate, Irelia, Lulu, Sed, Nar, and Yumi. So what happens with the Piltover and Son adventures released during the Riot X Arcane event? They will be going away, but will return in the future. If you want more details on what is changing in the Path of Champions game mode, you can check the official Legends of Frontera video that goes over all the changes. It is linked in the description and as an annotation. Moving on to the cosmetics, the patch 3.8 introduces the Pulsefire skin line to Legends of Frontera. We will be getting the following skins. Pulsefire Jin, including alternate art, new level up animation, and new skill visual effects. 
pulse fire Caitlyn, including alternate art, new level up animation, and new visual effects. Pulse fire Aphelios, including alternate art and new visual effects. Pulse fire Thresh, including alternate art and new visual effects. Pulse Fire Lotion, including alternate art, and the Pulse Fire Event Pass exclusive Pulse Fire Action, which includes alternate art. For icons, we will be getting the rank rewards for our Curious Journey season. The new board is the Chrono Space, including interactive elements, special visual effects, and new music. We're getting three new guardians Tibbers, Pulse Fire Tibbers, and Pulse Fire Chip. In the card packs department, we are getting Pulsefire Virtuoso, Pulsefire Siblings, Pulsefire Rogue, and Pulsefire Truthseeker, as well as the Pass of Champions rewards mentioned before Scroll of Frontera, Plague of Frontera, and Gem of Frontera. And to end the cosmetics run, we're getting the following emotes. Wait for it. Backfire. This again, scoped out, and adventure. As previously mentioned, this patch also introduces the Pulsefire Event Pass. You can purchase the Pulsefire Event Pass before June 15th to get an exclusive quest that awards 10 energy orbs and a rare prismatics chest. The event will end on June 29th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. With the 3.8 patch, we're also getting an update regarding region roads. Starting with the Pulsefire event, there will be more free nodes in event passes. This is because the developers will no longer be extending the region roads. The developers provided context on this change. Players who had completed region roads had to wait for events to earn new rewards. And new players have a lot of region roads to work through when they start the game. This patch brings three new bundles. The Time Walkers bundle, including Pulsefire Jin, Pulsefire Caitlyn, Pulsefire Aphelios, Pulsefire Thresh, and Pulsefire Lucian, including champion cards for all of the above champions. We're also getting the Deadly Fire deck, including Annie, Jin, and the Pulsefire Jin skin. And the last bundle is the Otherworldly Warriors deck, including Bard and Alawi. As always, bundle prices adjust if you own any of the contents before purchasing them. Goodbye, Expeditions! With the release of patch 3.8, Expeditions will no longer be available, so use all of your Expedition tokens before the patch goes live. And to end the patch notes, we have the traditional bug fixes, miscellaneous changes, and new challenges, quests, and AI decks. Before you go, if you want to learn and master all of the deck types in Legends of Frontera, make sure to check out our guide. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for everything Runeterra.